Are you for sending Dr. Fauci to the front lines of the war with Russia? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. A solution for us all. You do not know what you are talking about. Should we go to war with Russia? Of course not. Why not? We, we're United States of America. We're peacemakers. We should make peace. We should go to war with Russia? I will go to war with Russia. You don't want to go to war with crazy people. I mean, the guy in the White House is pretty crazy, too. <laughs> I, mean, I want to be clear. I'm not going nuts. We should go to war with everybody. I, I would like to send a few people to the front line. <laughs> Anti-war. Anti-war. No war. No war. No war. No war. No war. That's a brand new response. <laughs> That's a new one. We appreciate it. Welcome to beautiful St. Petersburg, definitely the most liberal city in all of Florida. I mean, I think it's inarguable. This city, however, has a very interesting question. Should we go to war? I hope that Biden goes to war with Russia. Absolutely not. The consequences are deadly. Sanctions, I don't think they're really going to work. I think we should continue with the sanctions. Well, the city clearly supports the ruling class in Washington, made up from a singular political ideology. So do they support their spiraling of our nation toward war with a nuclear superpower? Seems pretty reckless to us. Like the only time you fight war is if the country's actually in threat and it's the existence of your country. Otherwise, it's pointless. What do the libs in St. Pete say? But definitely we should go to war, back Ukraine, and shut Russia down. Libs in St. Pete, Benny on the Block edition. War? What is it good for? Let's go. Listen to me. We should go to war with Russia? I would go to war with Russia. Almost Talk to me about it. Why? One, uh, what Putin is doing is no more than bullying Ukraine. Okay. Uh, you have the U.S., who is an ally of Ukraine, and Ukraine also backed the U.S. in its wars. So definitely we should go to war, back Ukraine, and shut Russia down. War with Russia? What do you think? Should we go to war with Putin? That's what everyone's saying right now. What do you think? Should we go to war with Putin? Yeah, that's why everyone's like, war! Big issue. Yeah, it's definitely a big issue, but we should go to war with everybody. That's it, Chris. It's war. This is a war. That's it. Yes, it's war. I, I think our government's happy we're at war with Russia because they're taking away from the pandemic. Ah, yes. Because it's, yes. I mean, you think about it. Well, we haven't heard much about COVID. We haven't heard much about, um, you know, lockdowns, vaccines. Right. Now everything's being distracted from that. Are you for sending Dr. Fauci to the front lines of the war with Russia? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. A solution yes, for us all. Why would we go to war with Russia? The politicians are power hungry and they don't understand war has consequences. You lose buddies in them. The nukes start flying, especially if Putin nukes are going to start flying. You're in Russia. You've just launched a nuclear missile against the United States. Well, this day has taken a bad turn. If we had to go against nukes, let's do that. Let our allies come together, band together, shut Russia down. I think we should not be fearful of this nuke. The whole thing about nuke is fear, fear, fear. I think we should stop fearing all these things. He's just a fear monger. That's right. So he's putting fear on you, and if you are going to fall for it, that's what it's going to happen. I think we should stop being fearful. We have to use the intelligent part of us to make smarter decisions for not just ourselves, but the people that's going to come after us. That's because if we don't make decisions for tomorrow, every decision we make today is a decision of yesterday. No, no war with Russia. Anti-war. Anti-war. No war. No war. No war. No war. Young people typically don't want war. Is that well-founded? Yeah, no, absolutely. Like you don't, you don't serve for war. You serve for the guy to the left and right of you all the time. That's that's what you do. It's simplify, it's free to core, it's do or die. It's America. We bleed, we die, we fight for our country. You've seen what war can do, right, over the course of your life? Yeah, I, I have. I mean, war is not worth it. No. Yeah. No. I also don't agree with what Russia is doing. Yeah, that's true. Because they're, they're invading a sovereign country.
What do you think? Should we go to war with Russia? Absolutely not. Of course not. Why not? We, we're the United States of America. We're peacemakers. We should make peace. We should create peace. We should be an example of the world. I mean, we're the United States of America. Everyone that is in, in this entire globe is here in America. So that's enough people to create peace around the globe. So no, we should not go to war. Yeah, I did it nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Which uh, branch? Uh, Marine Corps. My man. Were you deployed? Uh, yeah, three times. He knows. Like, the only time you fight war is if the country's actually in threat and it's the existence of your country. Otherwise, it's pointless. Listen to the man. Kids, get yourself a hero right here. Thank you. Money for Russia and nukes for Iran, thanks to a prez with no brain and no plan. We've been out talking to people all day long. Not a single person has been like, yes, definitely war with a nuclear power. Right. I mean, I don't even think the Russian people want war. Hello. I am Olya, a Russian woman. I am so happy. Each day I wake up with big smile on my face like this. Ah! The company's cutting ties with Russia is growing longer. Yesterday, Netflix announced it's suspending services in Russia, citing the situation on the ground in Ukraine. Good morning. It is an official act of war that Netflix suspended services in Russia before I could finish the latest episode of Love is Blind. It is a clear violation of the Geneva Conventions. What would you say to the leaders in Washington, D.C., if you could like sit them down and be like, hey, here's what real people think? I would tend to really consider all the options and the consequences because this could have great consequences getting into, into a war with Russia. Yeah. There's too much to lose. Open up American oil, get the burden off the American people, which is common sense, but that's gone these days. And don't start a war against the second biggest army in the world and we don't have the capabilities to fight them right now. Two years of a global pandemic and what the world has gone through with that, that now this. That's and right. it's just, it's... Too much. With the exception of one dude who definitely wanted to go to war. <laughs> I will go to war with Russia. And then some guy who was like, let's have America go to war with all countries, declare war on all countries in the world at the same time. We should go to war with everybody. Very interesting. We didn't find a single person today who wanted war, who said that this would be a good idea for us to get embroiled in a war with nuclear power for a country with no strategic value that is impoverished uh, about 5,000 miles away from here. In fact, life is really nice here, and it'd stay nice if the same group of jackasses would stop messing with it. Life's pretty good. Quit messing with us. As you can see here, Benny on the Block in Florida once more. Life's good, no war.